Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and I'll try to say my name a little bit slower. Hey guys, this is Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. I know some of you have asked me to say it slower. And this is a look at multiple user support in Android Jelly Bean. Let's take a look. So this is a third-party ROM. I'll talk about what ROM is in a minute. So some developers a while back discovered that in Android Jelly Bean there's multiple user support, which is great if you have kids or friends that you don't want getting into your stuff. Let me show you how it might work. This is one developer's implementation of it. So I'm going to go into the settings here, and I'm going to go to Users and Restrictions, and I'm going to add a new user. And this person's name is Pesky Kid. Let's call it Pesky Kid 2. Kind of a funny name, actually. Click OK. And you go through and you check off the things that you don't want Pesky Kid 2 to see. So I don't want them to see the browser. I don't want them getting into, you know, crazy things. I don't want them to go into YouTube. I don't want them to see any crazy videos. And that's about it. So I'm going to save it. Pesky Kid 2. Now to switch users, you do a tap and hold of the power button. We're going to go to Pesky Kid 2, and then it does something really awesome. It basically brings you back to a stock implementation of Android with nothing on it. In fact, this is the introduction screen. It creates a new set of files and folders, and if we go into the app tray, you'll see that there's no browser there. There's no YouTube there. And none of my files or settings or anything like that are within this installation of Android, so I don't have to worry about Pesky Kid 2 looking at my calendar, looking at my email, looking at my photos, or anything like that. It's just a clean installation with the apps that I only want Pesky Kid 2 to be seeing. Really cool. Let me show you the ROM that allows this to happen. So if I go into settings, and again, these are the introduction screens here. If we go into settings, well, you see, you'll see that in settings you can't do very much because this is multiple user support where the other users shouldn't be able to do anything. And obviously what you would do is you would set up the main user the primary user to have a password or something like that. So only you could get into the settings in every single app. So if we go into the settings now, we'll go to the about screen. I'll show you what ROM this is. And various different developers are doing this and some of the ROMs, some are not. It's kind of a useful feature, again, if you have kids or friends that want to use your phone, but not everyone would find it useful. So what we're running here is a ROM called Domination, and this is running on Android 4.1.1. I'll put a link in the description, so if you have a One X and you're running uh, a, a third-party bootloader, you can get this running on your HTC One X. It's a really cool ROM, has a lot of other cool features. I'm not going to talk about in this video, just wanted to talk about the multiple user support, because it's really, really cool. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.